Good morning, guys. It's a sunny Wednesday morning. Yeah, and I'm back. I got uh, a couple videos I want to do today, but today, right now, right here, right now, right here, right now, right here, right now, this is going to be about bankroll. What little I know about it and what I want to share with my community. First off, bankroll is kind of special. Uh, personal relationship with Teller. Um, it's got no white paper. It's a top five DAP on, and I think it's got as close as number two on DAP radar. Uh, everybody's pulling out their daily divs still. We're probably, what, just under 50 million in the contract left? But with the whale status starting to kick in, I can't imagine that's going to slow down a lot more. Uh, I guess what I want to say is, is recently there was a UI change, apparently, a user interface change for the website. Looks like you took away the roll button, too. Um, nobody speaks about that. Uh, but it's clear. Teller is uh, kind of into control. More so than most in these platforms. And the reason he's into control, because he can he understands how markets move. And he needs to be able to be nimble enough to adjust for those adjustments. He, uh, I, 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 I'm an idiot, and so you don't want to listen to me, but I'll tell you what. Bank teller, there's nobody in this space that has as much experience with numbers and things like collateralized debt obligation mortgage backed securities, um, long term annuities, um, all the fucking mumbo jumbo fucking products, Series 7 motherfucking salespeople fucking push over fucking old people who got money that they don't, they want to see it uh, make a return when they get old. And are willing to fucking make a rich fucking banker richer. He's worked in that industry so deep you have no idea. And he understands it really, really well. Like, so well that, uh, 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 I don't know. I'm not going to say how well, but better than any of you. Fuck, way better than any of you. Way better than any developer you fucking met. I'm not saying he's the best developer. That's that's subjective to fucking skill sets and needs. But if anybody knows numbers and anybody knows how to fucking shift the interpretation of value from one thing to another, it's fucking bank teller. There's a reason he calls himself that, and I think it's justified. Nevertheless, I will also say that my personal experience with him in the past has been such that um, I really believe he's a tremendously good guy. And when I say good guy, I don't think he has the ability to hurt people. Um, recently, in the recent history, one of his projects that he was in was on its way. And it was looking really good. And he had a team with him. A team. This is what fucking teams do in this fucking space. He had everything going and it was looking really good. And he was doing a shift from one thing to another. And because he was relying on his team to help him do that... One of his members of that team that he was the, probably the closest with in that team fucked him in the ass hard. Like, and, and completely annihilated the whole project over a few months or a couple months worth, maybe one month's worth of rent, depending on where you live. You know? And he did that because that's how the game works. And that's what, that's what Bank Teller said. Big T over there said that, uh, you know, that's how the game works. And he walked away. He got fucked. He got fucked hard after a ton, a ton of work. And he said, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Now, some may say, oh, he was in on it, but for a couple months worth of rent for that guy, it's not even probably what, what he got screwed over. wasn't even half of what he needs to be able to fucking keep his head up for a month. So I don't think he's just fucking in on some sort of scam. He got fucked. And when he got fucked by the motherfucker who did that to him, he stood behind him. Because he said that's the way the game plays. Bank Teller's got way more of a spine than many of you would lead to believe. And also, like I was saying more uh, earlier, Bank Teller also, Bank Teller also has an incredible ability to be able to think ahead. And with that being said, I want you to realize one thing: this new UI interface. Uh, I mean, come on, guys. Let's 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 fucking be honest with ourselves. There's a dollar that you're you I mean a tr one tron that you're using to buy a transaction in the platform. 
In order for you to withdraw, you gotta spend, you gotta buy one Tron, or you gotta buy one something. There's a buy order in your fucking transaction. I'm not clear as to what it is, but you're being charged a Tron on top of your gas or whatever, your feed, your your energy, and your uh, uh, whatever that is. Uh, he's charging you a fee. And now he's asking you to do it twice a day, to withdraw twice a day. He wants that tra contract drained. He wants probably anybody with more than a thousand Tron to be a whale. And with the number of users in there, 5,000 people, or whatever, a number of wallets, I will say, he's got a, a situation where um, he's adding to a pot. Now, if you think about the world and how we want the blockchain to um, bank the unbanked, 20 cents is a meal to many many people in this planet particularly people that you and I will never meet and because of Tony's desire oh fuck I didn't say that because of bank teller's desire to contribute to the world and, and, and be he has a tremendous desire to help and to be the person who's helping others I will say that much about the teller, the big T. And uh, this new UI thing, and the uh, uh, third aspect, you got luck, you got bankroll, and then they're going to tokenize and uh, create a stable token, which he's not clear on how he's going to approach. I'm sure he's waiting to measure the sentiment of the community. This hence the reason why he's desiring so much control over the... Uh, uh, you know, and he's not telling anybody. He has no reason to trust anybody. After what CE did to him, dude, I don't, I completely understand why he fucking treats me and, and kicks me off the telegram regularly. It's totally understandable, and I totally deserve it. But I'm not going to stop being independently minded. But I, what I am going to do is I'm going to make it clear here. Bankroll is going to do shit you never seen done before. And bankroll, on, uh, uh, and I think it's going to be in a very, at least attempt to be interpret, attempt to be in a positive light. How it may be interpreted may not be so bright, but bottom line, no matter what, it's not on the ledger, man. It's not on the ledger, and so it's hard for me to balance my experience and understanding and uh, desires without the tip without the transparency participation the transparency immutability and trans participation bankroll's not immutable um and it's not transparent i mean not at the level of many things and so now that was an eight minute rant about bankroll i really appreciate you guys watching um i i, I think it would be in your best interest in the immediate short term to pay attention to bankroll more than bitcoin and that's going to be my next topic i'm going to do next on my next video because uh that's fucking triggered me hard. And and bankroll, bank teller, big T over there, man, you the man. You know, I wish I could say I got your back, but I don't know what's what you what you're up to, and I don't think anybody else does. And I, I have a funny feeling those one dollar buy transactions in order to withdraw or one not one one Tron uh, uh, transaction fees that you're claiming is a user user interface change, and people buy that. Tony, you're funny. I mean, t tell her you're funny. I love you, man. You're the man. I swear, dude, nobody's better. Whatever you're trying to do, nobody's better, and I look forward to being a part of it. I really do. No matter what happens, how fucked up it ends up, or how fucking wonderful it ends up. I'm hoping for, obviously, the latter, but I expect uh, nothing worse than the worst when we're all trying to fucking fight against the machine, and the machine owns everything. It's all about that ledger and controlling the ledger. That's my next topic. Watch my next video. Thank you for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. Oh, and by the way, thank you for unsubscribing. My next video is going to be devoted to you motherfuckers that can't fucking have a spine to realize the truth. You know? Here we go.